another day, another totally awesome comic book review right here on Crypto Comics. Welcome back, my Crypto Knights. Now, yesterday we talked about this little gem. This is Deadpool number one. The first time Deadpool ever had a comic book all to his own was in this release from August of 1993. Now, another, another comic book villain, another what you might refer to as anti-hero at this point. You know, they were kind of transitioning Deadpool, transitioning some characters from being bad guys into being, you know, assassins for hire, who we could kind of root for as long as whoever they were taking on was worse than them. So in August of 93, this Deadpool premiered on the shelves of your local comic book shop, but so did this other gem that people don't talk about. Sabretooth number one. And this is actually better than the, the Deadpool comic book, in my humble opinion. Deadpool number one just kind of felt like, a, I don't know, just another throwaway comic, you know, something that you forget about. But people remember it because, oh, now Deadpool's so popular. Whereas this, this little gem is, uh, this is good. This is written by Larry Hama. The art is by Mark Texiera. And it has a die cut cover. Check this out. Whoa, there it is. Look at that stunning artwork, man. This got to take a minute to take it all in. Quite a fine piece of art there, Tex. So let's get right into it. What do you say? Oh, Meteor Man. <laughs> Always. Can you believe that this got made into a movie before all these other mainstream Marvel comics? This was, it was all they could do back then. They could just make a guy fly. That was, that was it. And make him glow. It's the extent of superpowers in the 90s, unfortunately. Vancouver, British Columbia. Don't be thinking I'm going to invite you in for coffee and donuts just because you drove me all the way up here from Seattle. I still ain't decided whether I should rip your throat out or not, Pharaoh. Call me Cyborg, Sabretooth. Around here, you call me Mr. Creed. This is it. Tell your driver to pull over here. Multiple hostile thought waves in the ether. You got company waiting for you. Are you sure you don't want me to stick around? Get lost, Cyborg. PSI. Borg, Cy, Borg, get it? To preface this, Cyborg uh, kind of helped uh, Victor Creed here work through some stuff in his brain. You know, as part of the Weapon X program, they really scramble your brains like an egg. Anyway, Stanley presents Home is the Hunter. And immediately, ninjas attack. Have it your way, champ. Long have we waited for our vengeance, Gaijin Dog. Now you will pay for the ignominious death you served our clan leader. We'll take your skull and carve it into a bedpan. These ninjas are pissed. Is that so? Well, who's doing the carving? Aye! What the blazes am I paying you for, Bertie? You're supposed to keep the trash off the sidewalk. Is that you, boss? Well, it sure ain't the Avon lady. Cut him down. Don't let him get inside the house. What is this, an infestation? You ninja vermin have just met up with the exterminator. Aye, again. And a nice strong ung. We got a zash, a thwack, and a rip. I like them all. As strong as you are, there are still too many of us. And we are ready to die. I've been ready to die since before you was born. Woom. Sorry, boss. I was monitoring the batch that camped out at the back door. I'll have this lot cleared away in a second. See that you do, Birdie. If you don't know, Birdie is a telepath who uses her telepathic abilities to keep Sabretooth bloodlust calmed and at bay so he's just not a friggin maniac all the time you know trying to control himself trying to trying to live a little bit more civilized as our saber tooth where have you been boss would you believe inside a plant pod this is typically where you would have an asterisk that explains where that plant pod was all sorts of urgent job offers have been coming in on the fax line these are important clients you afraid the work's gonna dry up birdie Long as there's greed and envy, fear and loathing in the world, gonna be work a plenty for assassins. Have that one changed. 
She should be wearing the uniform of a Hydra overlord. Later, I really needed this hot soak, Bertie. Man, oh man. It's like jackhammers and ice picks inside my skull. Your muscles are all tight and knotted. You have to cool out and you don't tell me what to do. You just get in here and do your job. He throws her right into the giant bathtub. It reminds me of the, the bathtub that Francis had in Pee-wee's Big Adventure. Remember that one? That giant swimming pool? <coughs> you should not have do that to someone you let trapeze through the inside of your brain. All it take is an aneurysm. You ain't got the sand to kill me, Bertie. Because you know there ain't nowhere far enough for you to run if you tries and fails. Pop! I'm going to drink some champagne now. Come on, Bertie. Do your thing. You're going to love it. That old geek cyborg unscrambled some of my memories for me. Unblocked some choice stuff. Some real horrors come loose from up there. Enough to freeze your craw. You want it, Mr. Creed? You got it! <laughs> ah! Why does he scream, Foo! Okay. Look at those graphics. Welcome to September of 1993. Mortal Kombat! Getting right down to it, buddy. You know what it's like for me. It's like dying and being born. Like a white heart hurting and pure joy. Like taking what you want and getting what you fear. Like killing and making b- Who, who are you? This little boy shows up. They calls me Creed. Will you be my friend? Sure, I'll be your friend. Who did all that to you? They did. We can't tell them about us being friends, you know. They'll punish me. They's always punishing me. They say if I be's bad one more time, they's going to lock me in the root cellar for good. What did you do that was so bad? Come closer and I'll tell you. Shrip! Ha ha ha! Yeah, yeah. He doesn't hates me? He doesn't want to hurt me? No, honey, I... I think maybe you've been hurt too much. Aw, the friends. Ah, ain't that sweet. Huh? Almost enough to melt the heart of the king of mean. But you know what they say. Almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Whap! Let me punch a woman here real quick. Teach you what the patriarchy's all about, girl. So don't be wasting that good stuff on no phantoms out of the past. I need that glow, Bertie. I need you to take away the pain. Later, she's walking around in just a sweet little towel, barely covering her private parts. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Let me just go ahead and turn off this security system and beep. And she just shuts down everything. Perimeter infrared sensor, ground motion detector, window lasers, doorway claymores, anti-personnel mines, punji pits, main gate lock, click, whir. Man, if somebody shut down my punji pits, I'd be really, really irked. Birdie's turning on him. Fire teams left and right. Assault team takes the point. Security team covers any withdrawal. It's okay. He's sound asleep. Just get out of the way. We'll take over from here. Huh? Somebody's in my house. Armored door. Setting up the weapons team. We need a missile launcher up here. I left that door open. Something's wrong. Shut up, girly. We got work to do. Blow those hinges. Fire teams, cover the assault. Missile is hot. It's no longer a surprise. Oh, it's a surprise, all right. But not for me. Security team, target is loose. Get ready to uh, slash. Rip. Kink. Choom. Oh, Barack Obama. It's part of the Choom gang, if you don't know. Choom. Arrogant macho idiots. Now we're all in for it. Where are you, birdie? Sold me out, did ya? 
Not too bright, birdie. And I personnel mines now armed. Malayan tiger gates now armed. Halt lasers now armed. Luckily, I know where all the party favors are. All that, and there's still some left. Hit him with the gas. Boom, boom, boom. <coughs> Gonna take more than this to take me down. Zap him with the taser. Yeah, I don't think that taser's gonna work on Sabretooth. Dzzzt. Ah! Oh, you dirty. Oh, you dirty rat. Bring up the steel nets. Careful not to damage the goods or the Tribune will dock you. More tasers. Ugh. Hypodermics. Intramuscular horse tranquilizers. Shoot them with the triple dose. I'm coming back, buddy. You're gonna get yours. I'm gonna fix you. You hear that? I'm gonna fix you. You hear that, boy? I'm gonna fix you. We can't do this to him. He's only... You shut your yap, woman. I pulls out them devil teeth and them claws. Well then, maybe I can beat the evil out of him. You ever think maybe he's a trial? Maybe we's being tested like Job was? There's got to be a reason. What did we ever do? Trump, get away from him. He ain't got the muzzle on. What did I tell you? Tarnation now. You, now, now you just hold him tight. He's waking up, Doc. Morphino Barbital? How come nobody ever made a villain that looked like Jim Shooter? Awesome dude, but I mean, shouldn't he be plotting the deaths of millions of people? This is like Rob versus Jim. This should be the cover of a comic book, you know? Bright eyed, you know, wide eyed American boy versus this evil monster. I don't know why they didn't do it. It's a no brainer to me. Not necessary. I'm tying off the last suture. Huh? What the? Don't strain Sabretooth. You'll pop your stitches. Dr. Mabius has been working around the clock for the last week, giving you a full systems upgrade. You are now, in the parlance of the arcades, Turbo Sabretooth. You made me stronger? That's pretty stupid. You know what I'm going to do when I... We also installed a control device next to your aorta. I'll come to that in a minute. Who? Why? I am the Tribune, and I have had all of this done to you in order that you may carry out a very special assassination. The control device I mentioned earlier is to ensure that you carry out this little mission. It consists of a six ounce lump of hyperthermite three with a radio controlled detonator. I don't expect you to take my word as to the effectiveness of this device. I have prepared a visual aid. Bring in the ninja. My employees found this skulker lurking around in your rose bushes. I had a control device implanted in his chest also. Bleep! Stoom! Blows that sucker apart. Bye-bye, ninja! So who do you want aced? Her name is Mystique. You'll have two days. That is, 48 hours from the time you're healed and accept the mission. Start the clock, Junior. One thing you should know, after I ace the broad, I'm coming after you. To be continued. Harold Chaikin on his lack of morality. Oh, Plasm. This was a, a card set that was a comic book. Yeah, you collect all the cards and it, it made a comic. No one, no one cared. This was a, like, this was probably the biggest mistake Jim Shooter ever made, in my opinion, was this whole stupid plasm thing. Maybe we'll talk about it at some point in the future. I think I think I have some of those plasm cards. Ooh, nice. Travis Charest. Very nice. Ooh, Michael Golden. There we go. I'm a little too cartoony for me. I like my saber too, a little more realistic. I think uh, our boy Mark Texier did him best, without a doubt. Boom. So if you're a fan of Sabretooth, this is a, this is a must-have miniseries. Four issues, worth every penny if you can track it down. I'm quite confident you can find it online if you can't find it in your local comic shop. And I'm actually I'm actually excited to read the rest of this miniseries. Uh, I'm intrigued to read the the Deadpool one that we talked about. But uh, 
That's mainly because of the whole Tolliver Will thing, you know, the MacGuffin in this one is interesting. Whereas this just seems like a really solid story, really interesting story going on here with good character depth, much more character depth than you get from Deadpool. Sabretooth is a more complex character. And Larry Hamlin is just a solid storyteller. So I would recommend you go check this out. Find it at your local comic shop. It's worth it. It is worth it, as you can see from this comic book review. If you liked it, I know you liked it. Don't be afraid to hit that little thumbs up down there. Yeah, that actually... Those likes, they make crypto comics stronger. In fact, likes from your alternate YouTube accounts, they make me even stronger. Help me get some more XP so I can level up. And we'll keep on rocking through 2019. I hope all you beautiful people in Webtown will consider supporting your boy Crypto as I launch my first comic book, Megawatt vs. the Vampires of the Sun, on Kickstarter beginning October 1st. I need all of you beautiful people to show up October 1st and support my book so that we can shoot this campaign to the moon and continue to make totally awesome comic books for each and every one of you out there. So October 1st, go to megawattcomic.com. It'll take you right to our Kickstarter campaign where you can support your boy Crypto by backing Megawatt versus the Vampires of the Sun. And I will see you again very soon on Crypto Comics.